Where she is, what where in this that is? 214,000 miles. Wow. One owner from new. Still looks pretty good though. Used yeah. as Land Rover's intended. Yeah. The interior is not great, but he's not expecting miracles. No. He says, don't take this off, don't do that, because you'll end up wishing you didn't. Yeah. And don't worry about this bit. Uh, it's quite realistic. Yeah, good. 2006 Range Rover Supercharged, a Vogue Supercharged. It's Tonga green in colour. 214,000 miles. It's one owner from new. It's been used as Land Rover originally intended. It's here for the white detail. It's travelled from Ireland. And we're going to transform it from this to this. Stay tuned for more. Inside the decontamination, this is the mechanical clay bar decontamination stage. From the lower portions, pretty grubby, pretty dirty. I know the cars have a lot of paintwork. Quite when it was, I don't know. But that's one of the dirtiest cars, not in the terms of the clay, just in general. Lathered. One of the dirtiest cars that's been here for a long time. It was a long job to flush, just to get it clean. Um, we're still a long way from it being properly clean yet. Uh, clay bar, get up on the ramp. Get the wheels off, wheels go outside, start the blow down procedure, and then we can take a look at the paintwork. Inspection. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, what details? Are we on ours? Yes, okay. Yeah, right. by Christ, for the job you've done. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you it. You can do my car anytime. <laughs> very briefly talked about it in the on ours video, but the Big Boy Blow R Pro available for water finish. I love this thing. It's very well engineered. It's ergonomic. It just feels high, high quality, very much. Two twin 1400 watt motors. It's got a standard of 3.5 meter commercial grade hose, it uses filtered air, it blows at I think, 20 degrees Celsius above ambient room temperature uh, and it has four speed settings so it's going from 45 miles an hour to 180 uh, let me just unplug it otherwise it'll take the head off you can go and it has wheel dollies on the back so it can skate around the shop floor you could go you go full speed or you can just go half speed. You can go full speed and half speed, or you can go half speed and half speed, or you can go full speed and half speed, or half speed and full speed and full speed. You've got four options basically to interchange the speed from 45 to 180. 
There's areas on the truck actually we've identified already that inside the door sill there's corrosion and flaky paint. Get this behind it, it's going to flick it off. It's always good to know what you're working with to ID these areas, but if you're in a delicate engine bay of the interior or anywhere that you don't need the full gust, then it's allowing you to control that. But overall it just feels very good quality. Um, there is a WD10 discount code on screen for you to use. There's a small single motor unit, but 10% off does make a big difference because they're not cheap, but it is good, 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 good quality. Tonga green in colour, we can see here, they even need the light, look at that beauty. When it runs all the way through, there's endless <laughs> chips and marks and bad bits. It'd be safe to say that this isn't going to be perfect, that was an instruction from the owner to say, don't worry about this and that bit's bad and that bit's knackered and this needs replacing. So do what you can, really, uh, to a point where there's a good, a vast improvement. It's certainly seen a hard life. Good amount of buffer trails and there's a rear near side door. It's gonna be easy to shift. Send them up, it's deep in there. So this door isn't as marked up or as scratched as this. See the individual scratches and marks there? Not as bad. Whether this is actually a new door, it's been painted or it's just been buffed, and it's original paint is this. I don't know, we can measure the paint and get an idea on that in a bit. Some good marks around the handles. It's one thing, um, there's no mirrors to polish, there's no gloss, stupid gloss B, C, D pillars on this. The near side rear quarter, similar to the rear door, buffer trails. These light clusters are being replaced, uh, so we're gonna strip all this down, they have the light guard on the side, that's all come off, yet to be taken out fully for trailing. And another thing, recommendation from the owner to not worry about taking the bull bar off. Reason being, behind it, there's all sorts of sins and tragedies. So you'll end up making your life worse and it might not all go back together <laughs> the correct way. So then it makes our life easier anyway. Right. Although saying that, polishing the grill's gonna be fun. Well, I'm saying it's not necessarily easy. It's just less to polish. Yeah, Edge of paint missing there in the lower portion. Compared to the Arnage, the last Floyd episode, this at least is one big flat surface on the most part. There's this little edge here in the little crevice there in the top section. So three inch, three inch, five or six inch, three inch or five inch hybrid, hybrid. That's all right. Terry's currently dying, man flu. This door's been painted, it's a few impressions, imperfections in the paint. Badges have come off this, supercharged badges have come off to be replaced. Oh, a weird little cluster to the right hand side of the Land Rover badge there. Cluster of abrasion, someone's been rubbed and chafed over that. And that's about it, sports fans. A real quick inspection, plenty of room for improvement. Right, uh, 
Sorry, George. There we go. Uh, offside front door, driver's door. Knockout, the haze, the obvious, the unsightly stuff. But then left with beauties like this. And then down there. And then everywhere. So having cut this portion twice with the big pad, we're now left with these ones. You can start to see. I'm just gonna find that again and mark it. There's a long one, I've chased that with the DA, the three inch all the way through. I need to revisit that. And then the three inch has been on the very bottom. So the turn, the uh, oscillation, the throw, the five inch you don't, you don't get 20 mil close to the bottom. So we're in the three inch, down the bottom, across the side, And up the top, you can still see this is really quite badly broken, so I need to run that all the way across there again. But yeah, if you've been here before, you'll know that we tackle the bulk five inch, six inch pad, and then we work round the edges with the three inch to make it true and tight. Here's the after the cutting. Um, it'll be interesting for me to do a small 50-50 to show a, the finish that's been cut, what you're looking at now, and then the finish that's been refined. If I had the divide, the line, the 50-50 directly above the light now, the left hand side being cut, right hand side being refined, it will be obvious, you'll be able to see that quite clearly. In fact, I'm trying to remove the rest of these deep ones here and this half of the door, the third of the door, and then I'll do that. Bing bar. My legs falling off. Okay, so we have a defect free door, Jim. That's pretty much good, surely. Good to go? Nope, this is the refining test. So the bloomy haze around the light. Uh, you've just seen me polish the diagonal line, see if you can spot it coming, which is the refined after section. Bosh. Look at the color difference in between the refined paint and the cut paint. So that's micro marring haze induced from the aggressive cut, which is still, of course, best than this mess. But we go one, two, three. See if you can see it under the little light there. Yeah, you can see it coming in here. So that's what we've got to look forward to when the rest of the car is a little scratch there. Quite a big scratch. I've been at you so many times. Why won't you go? Probably time for a coffee, I think. Blasting, blah, 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 blah. Blasting the back end of the door now. There's still gonna be a lot of marks left in here. That's after two cuts, but as you can see, there are stray defects, deeper stuff everywhere. But as an example to show the bottom, See the haze here, the throw of the five inch pad doesn't quite get tight there, albeit I've been up against the green. So watch that haze disappear, because over here, you can see I've been down there. Good, 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 good. Bad, 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 even though this is done. Three inch. A lot of 
people might be thinking, Whoa. the detail is going to be a good percentage of the total vehicle's value. It's a 14 year old with 214,000 miles on the clock. Can't be worth a great deal, three, four thousand pounds, perhaps, maybe more, who knows. But why throw so much money at such an old car? There's a wonderful story behind it. Been owned from new, from this same lady owner from new. It's bought a family up, it's done the holidays, it's done the school run, it's done the weekly shop. It's been a family member since 2006. The lady doesn't know the vehicle is being treated, it doesn't know it's being restored. What's actually happening is my customer, son, treating mum to a brand new Tonga green with the same interior combination. Brand new SV autobiography, which you'll see here in the coming weeks for a new car preparation before it goes back over to Ireland. It's being bought for the new car prep. So this is essentially being replaced by a brand new model, but at the same time, they don't want to get rid of this. They don't want to let it go. So it's having the my detail. So this is A being restored back to as near new as possible for the age and the condition. And then there's a new model to replace it. How nice is that? What a story. There's not been much of this going on, filming. New steps, a new work top stepping workstation ladder system. I nearly died on my old one yesterday, flapped on me. Thankfully, I was away from the car, as was everything else. So now I can finish the rest of the roof, which is always a test on the Range Rover. Got this near side of the roof to finish off tomorrow. Tonight is Wednesday, that's the mobile. Good afternoon, what details? Hello. Hello there. Mr. White? Yes. Speaking. That feels a bit more stable. Oh god, that's a bit sleepy. The last one, I didn't, didn't even think about that. The last one had rubber feet. Balls. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be piggybacking Terry to finish the near side of the roof. Uh, and then we're on to refining. It's a bit of a mess, it's a bit of a bomb sign here. Terry's been by himself for the most part today. This morning, Wednesday, I've had my second trip out to Aston Martin. I've been to Gaydon, to the production facility to see a very special model of which I was sort of assessing, early inspecting. Uh, on the production line. Without telling you what the car is yet, it, there's only 99 being produced, so that might give some of the fans, Aston fans, a clue. Uh, but now it was moved to Aston Martin and works to the Newport Pagnell facility. Uh, and it was uncovered, it was unveiled, taken out the bag, if you will, yet to be PDI'd. But my goodness, what a mess, the paintwork, sanding marks, everywhere, shocking. But that's another story, we'll come on to that in the coming weeks. I'm annoyed that step doesn't fit the bill.
Got some goodies, Terry. What have you got? What have you got, Jim? Terrific nice. Uh, yeah, it's the wheel stuff. Carbon collection. Carbon collective. Yay! Oh, what have you sent you? Some clarity. 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 That's a good name for that. Clarity. Should be 10, hopefully. I'll have changed to the uh, thicker microfiber pads. They normally supply them thin makeup ones. Supercharged badge on the back is a bit worn. It's been replaced. So just heating it up with the heat gun. And now using the fishing wire to cut through the adhesive. The wrong thing to do at this point is to pull from one side and try and remove it. I'll take it off and I'll explain why. Keeping it flush, keeping it close to the bodywork like that. Just leaves you with adhesive to pick off. Uh, whereas the i8 from last week's new car prep, the dealership debadged it, second time of doing so on one of his cars. And as they prized it from the bottom left, this top right, if you pull that, that digs in and it left an impression with the i8 badge, it's left a dent. Uh, they did it on his coupe and they've now done it on the 130,000 pound Roadster. The plan was for us to do it. The debadging wasn't meant to be done until it got this end. Uh, but unfortunately, once again, communication failed and we were left with uh, some real bad marks and scratches on the back gloss black panel to dig out. Whereas with this method, all you're left with is a little sticky residue and an outline that needs polishing away as opposed to scratches, scores and indentations. some of the interesting jobs, the uh, intricate, worthwhile things. Wheel bolts, tarnished, dull, 214,000 miles of never really been polished. Before and after, hopefully you can see that. Freshened up nicely, ready to go back on with the wheels. Wheels are to one side, haven't been coated, carbon collective platinum wheels. Right, progress is pretty good. It's Thursday, it's quarter to three. Refining's complete, wheels coated, engines done, that was done last night. Paintwork looking sharp. Interior, using the back as an example, the underside of the wheel, the underside of the load liner there, pretty moldy. Where the spare wheels come out of, the usual 13 years of whatever. Yeah, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Mm, it's real nice, isn't it? Charming. This carpet's pretty fine, John, to be honest as well. Yeah. And then the rest of the interior, being the colour it is, it's just every surface has got blemishes and stains and just needs, just needs a lot of work. The leather in the back is sort of seemingly okay, dirty, but it uh, will come up. Leather in the front, however, passenger seat not too bad, but the driver's seat is pretty shot. Oh, I look down here. Ooh. 
There's going to be some toothpickery in here. Was that the date, Terry? Was that the was that the date then? The gate. I think it was the gate. I think we're about to see my dad walk around the corner. Was that the trees are rustling or the inches of the gate? Where is oh, he? Jim's dad coming. <laughs> Here he is. It's Bob White. Here he is. You might be on the vlog. Everything that's cream is disgusting. Some hot cross buns for treats tomorrow morning. You what? Hot cross buns for treats yeah. tomorrow mid morning before fish and chips. Work in progress on the interior. This is the colour of the rinse water after just door cards, half of the door cards, seat bases, half the dashboard, grab visors, grab handles, sun visors, all this stuff. Yet to do the carpets and leather and quite a lot of the rest of the interior. So, one bucket down. Good God. Whoa. What do you think, worthwhile? I do. 
This is all dry now, so it's a nice matte, clean finish. It's fresh. We've still got underneath here to do, but all this grubby, dirty. Uh, I need to get the toothpick into these uh, badges and the doors. They really do hold the dirt. A lot of ingrained in the black. The ashtray section out. That can be cleaned in the sink. Stay there. Interiors are so hard to film. Better just uh, take a picture for Instagram before we get rid of this 50 50. With everything nice and dry now, that's the full door card complete. Uniform, clean, very nice indeed. Still got in there to do, but I'll do that with the Vortex air system. See that later. Not looking forward to the headlining, that's pretty grubby. Second bucket of rinse water. Still got a lot to do. found state of this. don't know if you can see on the camera where I've been. Excuse the phone. We're on uh, hold to technical support. Clean spot here. Brand new microfiber. Look at that. You can even see my hand plays on it. That's my thumb there. So this is A going to be needing to be rinsed a lot because if I carry on using this, it's just going to be using a dirty cloth. And then we've got a nice upholstery cleanup. It's probably going to need two or three visits per section, really. Without wetting it too much, because it's likely to sag. Alright, as I'm on the headlining, Terry's working the leather. Look at this for a start, that's all blistered and flaked. But how's that for another 50 50 armrest? Totally grubby, totally disgusting. Is the light on the camera? Red one? Yeah, the red one. She's going. It's nice that. Yeah. Looking fresh, isn't it? Looking nice, isn't it? Just as the. You kind of want to leave it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, here you are. So we can fact, see how much muck we've taken off. Let me take a picture. <laughs> Are you going to send it to him? Yeah. State of that sun visor. It doesn't smell of smoke, but it looks like it's a smoker's vehicle. It's weird, weird that, isn't it? I can't uh, believe that. State of all that. If I can get all this, like this, this is really bad here, then we'll be happy and I'm sure the customer will be delighted. They'd be delighted, he will. Oh, baby, <laughs> that's as good as that bit gets. Just there about second. Bloody chuff with that. I like that's coming up nice too. It feels crisper, sharper, tighter when it's clean.
Went to past 12 already, Saturday. Tooth pickery, touch ups completed first of all, touch ups to the wheel arch edges, the edge of the doors, in between the vents, the inside the doors where the belt bottle has been jammed against the door as it's bang. Temporary fixes, touch ups to the bonnet, but it takes your eye off that white scratch chip scrape. Touch ups, every single black dot on this has been from sticking a wooden skewer through the cloth into all the power gaps. In here, around there, down there, over there, up there, down there, under there, across there, in every hole, every angle, every spot that polished dirt bits can get built up in. Toothpickery. And now we're going to, and also using a toothpick as well as opposed to just the wooden skewer. Still got to do the paint coating. Before that, it does need the paintwork blowing down, wiping down with Gion Prep, and then doing the coatings. But I'm a bit worried about the pillars, the gloss pillars. You see, they're streaky. They've got some sort of weird, I don't know, whether something's been applied to them in the past. They look like they're wet, but they're actually not. So what that is, um, we'll find out. The mirror is the same, that needs sorting out. Quite heavily scratched to be honest. So then it's coatings for the paint, it's then glass, exterior glass from the interior already. Final vac for the interior, that's now about finished. The leather protection still needs to go down. Approaching half past 12, there's gonna be two or three hours at least, four hours tomorrow perhaps. Let's get the whole thing finalized, scrubbed up, swept up, cleansed, cleaned, documented, photographed, videographed, videographed. Normally with the plastics, we tape these up to protect these from polishing when we polish the paint. But in this instance, we're actually taping the paint to dress the plastics. There's a lot of them all the way around. All the way around the back, the running boards, bottom of the doors, inside the door itself down here. And then on this particular vehicle, there's the bull bar set up at the front, as well as the low down plastic, so I'm gonna dress these now. Push for time this afternoon, well, three o'clock, if I started coating now. Including the blowdown, the IPA panel wipe, the coating itself, we're looking, pushing three hours, two and a half, three hours. So I will be pushed this afternoon, because I'm out tonight for a friend's birthday. Gonna be stood here a while. Oh, am I? Cool.
No worth our time spent on the front grill. This is the cleaning cloth. What's a finesse triple? One of these. Bit of that. Cleaning cloth. Buffing cloth. Good amount of dirt poured off. Front grill. Tricky with the uh, ball bar system in place. It's hard to get around the back there. Just got the side vents to do now. Near side, off side. It's approaching half past four Sunday. Um, next week's white detail being dropped off in an hour and a half at 6 p.m. Fast forward to Monday, um, I filmed the truck last night, but then Aston Martin DB9 this week's full white detail. Turned up at about half past six, I was sort of fettling, sorting, finishing final touches for the truck, doing the filming. Aston turned up, I was running around uh, doing taxi runs, train stations, etc. Didn't get back till half past eight, there, thereabouts, and I just needed to do this. So the next two hours, I think about 10, half past 10, the truck will be being picked up. The owner is flying in from Ireland to collect the car, taxi drop them off at uh, White Details. And I'll be sure to try and film a reaction, because I'm sure it will be a beauty. So that's all, enjoy the after footage. Be sure to share, comment and like the video if you've enjoyed it. Pass it on with friends, family. Don't forget the car has done 214,000 miles. So the interior, exterior wise, pretty good, but interior wise, there are a few cracks, there are a few abrasions, the driver's seat could do with a full recondition, of which the owner, nah, don't worry, it, it didn't uh, realistically do what you can with what you've been given. That is the White Detail, I am Jim, this is White Details, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more. day for the truck. Lunatic. I feel bad even when I'm driving. 
Oh, <laughs> it's absolutely insane. I, I feel I'm again so so sorry for the uh, the interior. Oh my god. The, the 50 50 50 50, 50 is good, yeah. But that, that was in the rear door as well, so you can imagine that door, the yeah. front doors. There is wear oh on the roof. roof. <laughs> yeah. Do you know when the roof's dirty? It's no. drive around every time with the windows down and the sunroof open, so it's just walk. We could, it didn't smell, like normally it's the dirty headline, it's the smoke is but it didn't smell smoke. No, no smoke, no smoke. But it, it was black. That's insane. It's a lovely, the, the contrast to the wood, the black, the beige, the, the green. That's, that's insane. I know, sorry again, the leather seats wear the door card and the steering wheel. And the yeah. it's, it's absolutely mad. Again, the, the roof liner, I can't get over the roof yeah. And because she's not leather, it's not easy to, it's not easy to wipe, I don't think. Good. Well, we love it to hear your mum's uh, yeah, she she loves reaction. <laughs> she'll, um, like I'm sure most mothers, she'll tear up, she'll cry her eyes out. Again, as I said, it's so weird, I think I know you because I've had a good one. Oh, but Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry. Like a new lot, it feel lovely. You know what that lovely when you let the power car drives nice when you wash it clean and it's still a drive, I know, boys. 